saying? Oh, I'm itching. I'm tired. I had to be there at 7.30 and it literally lasted two hours. and welcome back to life with re with your girl re first and foremost i want to say thank you so much for joining me if you have been part of the fam part of the squad thank you so much for joining in if you have not go ahead and hit that subscribe button because i am sharing my entire journey to weight loss surgery and i hope you guys do not mind car videos because i was just like let me go ahead and try to do this video before i go inside y'all know how elias can be Y'all know how he can be. So I was just like, let me go ahead and do this video while I'm just outside my house um, and just give you guys an update about the first nutrition class. So it was more than just a nutritional class. It was like an informative class also. We went through the whole surgical process, making sure we get all those checklist items checked. And also um, we talked about the nutrition piece on it. So first, I am going to talk about the surgical process, meaning um, the things that I am going to have to do in order to make sure I have all the things checked off to be submitted to insurance. They gave us this handy dandy notebook, you guys. I mean, it is just packed with information. And I thought that was just so, so good. Going over the table of content, you can see that it's very detailed. If I ever have like a question or anything, I can reference back to this book. I have the financial and insurance information, the weight loss procedures, the gastro bypass, the vertical sleeve, the different types of switches that they have, like the Sadie and things, um, what to expect preparing for surgery, what to expect after surgery, psychology and strategies for good mental health exercise nutrition and recipes so it is loaded with everything that that we will need that i will need so this book is loaded with all kinds of information and i'm very excited to go through it um i'm not gonna go through all of this stuff because it'll be forever but i did want to go to the checklist um here we go so this is the checklist. This is the requirements for my bariatric center. This is also some of the requirements for my insurance. So this was a great visual for me to look at and for anybody else to look at to make sure that everything is in order and that you have all the things that you need. So first and foremost, it says, call your insurance company to verify bariatric surgery is covered. I've done that, so I can put a check by it. Um, my bariatric center requires four nutrition classes. Three will be in the groups, which I have one today, August 10th. I'll have another one on September 19th. And then after that, or during that visit, I'll schedule schedule my third visit. And the fourth visit is not scheduled until after I have a surgery date. So once everything has been submitted and approved through insurance, I will get that fourth class. And that class is where I will buy my vitamin and minerals and supplements like that. I am also required by my bariatric center to do two educational classes. These are done virtually and I can do them at my own time. Um, the behavior health assessment, that is the psyche valve. I do that on September 8th. And then it has like your medical clearance form. I already have that. The five-year weight history, I already have that. The lab work, I already have that, but they are going to double check to make sure that I don't need anything else. I do have to get um, the upper uh, endoscopy um, but I will get called to schedule that sleep study, maybe, depending on the questionnaire that I filled out. If they feel like I need a sleep study, they will call me to schedule that as well. I will have to get a gallbladder ultrasound. And again, they will call me to schedule that. Everything else is pretty much easy peasy. Um, they do have like a smoking class, like if you were a smoker, 
marijuana or nicotine you have to take courses i am not a smoker so i didn't have to worry about that so i just thought that was a really great visual a great tool to make sure that i have all my ducks in a row and i have all the things that i need to be submitted to insurance next class is on the 19th and during that class we will be talking about vitamins and minerals i believe or protein Two of the class, both of the classes, there will be topics based on vitamins and minerals or protein. I can't remember if which one is which for second or third class, <laughs> but that's what the topics will be about. So this is just the required visit forms. Everyone in the class got this form, but everyone's top line was different because it was based on your insurance. Uh, mine says required visit, no time frame. That means I don't have a waiting period, so I can do all my if I could do all my classes like if I want if they had availability for the second class tomorrow I could go ahead and schedule it there's no time frame I don't have to wait it's just whenever they have the availability so um I'm really sad that I have to wait until September 19th but it's all good uh she did tell me that the second and third class are pretty much um they're closer in time so I won't have to wait as long to get the third um nutrition class but back to my weight sorry today i weighed in at 291.6 which puts my bmi at 43.7 i am five eight and a half um she did put me on a 1600 calorie diet um for now goal is to lose or maintain the weight she did make a comment not to go under the 40 BMI because with me not having any other, any other health issues, I want to make sure that I still meet the insurance requirement. So that's why she said lose or maintain. So that is my goal. Uh, we went over, as, as far as the nutrition part of the class, we went over food labels, reading the labels, um, making sure that the sugars are five grams or less and making sure the fats are 12 grams or less. Uh, we went over things like healthy fats, lean meats, all those things, guys, non-starchy vegetables. We want to make sure I fill my plate half with non-starchy vegetables and then have your lean or have your protein and then your starchy vegetables. Or if I want to substitute my starchy vegetable with a fruit or another vegetable, that, that is fine as well. So it was a very, very inform informative class. And I really appreciate my center and the thoroughness that they are giving the patients because just it's really a big eye opener. Like when you see these things in front of you, like serving size and things like that. And then if you think about what your eating patterns are in a day, like how much you actually overeat things or how you actually eat three to four servings of an item. It's just very eye-opening. I actually have not ate anything yet, which she told us that was a big no-no. No skipping meals because after surgery, you do not want to skip meals because it is hard to catch up. And when I mean to catch up, you want to make sure you're reaching those protein goals, right? And if you skip a meal, it's hard to catch up when your stomach is so, so small and you can't really eat like you used to, right? You're not going to be able to. So when you skip a meal, it puts you behind and it makes you harder to reach those goals. And you want to make sure you hit those protein goals. So no more skipping meals for me. And really try to weigh my food again. I hate it, but I have to weigh my food, measure my food, and just making sure that I am doing all the things that I need to do to be successful for life after surgery. Um, today, she talked about how we want to go ahead and start practicing these habits, these behaviors is what she called them. We want to go ahead and start practicing these behaviors now so that after surgery, they come easier, which I talked about on my other video. Um... And all the things that she told us to start practicing are all the things that I've already doing, slowing down my eating, not being distracted when I'm eating, not looking at my phone, not watching my, t not watching TV, 
you know, using smaller plates and also using chow size utensils. Um, making sure you chew up your food 15 to 30 times per bite. She said an applesauce consistency. I called it mush yesterday, but applesauce consistency is a lot. It sounds a little bit better. Um, all things like that. Um, not drinking while you're eating. So I feel like I put myself at a good starting place and just hearing it from her today just confirmed that I was on the right track, that I am on the right track. She also said to start limiting the carbonated drinks. I don't drink soda, but I do drink seltzer waters, you guys. That's really all that I drink other than regular water. I'm not a big juice fan. I don't drink lemonade. I don't even really drink tea. When I do drink tea, it's unsweetened tea, but I don't even really drink that. I'm really, I really got hard on those hard seltzer waters, but I'm going to have to take that out because it's carbonated and the carbonation can actually expand your pouch after surgery. So we want to go ahead and cut those out as well. Um, she said, I can reintroduce carbonated drinks after a year. And I love my white claws, but I'm going to have to let those go too. <laughs> alcohol she said for a year it's a lot of changes you guys like I was talking to my sister about it and she was just like man I don't know if I could do all this because it is a life-changing event seriously you will not be able to eat the same at all at all you want to make sure that you eat your protein first and then move on to your vegetables and things like that because you want to make sure you hit those protein goals again I really enjoy the class. I got a lot of information. They all seem so extremely helpful. They kept telling me the dietitian and the nurse um, navigator. She kept telling us to um, reach out. If you have a question, reach out. If you don't know or understand something, reach out. If you're having a hard time with something, reach out. Even one to five years, 10 years from now after surgery, you know, and your weight is creeping back up or you need help to reach out like they're like this is what we're here for and we are here for you so please reach out and I just love that about them so far this experience has been absolutely amazing if you look at my my beginning video my video when I was talking about you know what is I going to get it and all these things you know I talked about how if everything goes smoothly then this is for me but if I have any like hiccups in the way if it was too much that was not going my way then i'll be like okay maybe not but you guys everything has been going beautifully everything has been going smoothly and the people at my bariatric center is so so sweet and so so helpful and i am just very excited and thankful for this center already um and so we just got that we were just continuing to knock these things out if there's anything that you might want to know that I didn't answer, I mean, it was really basic information, but it was a lot of information. Um, so if there's anything specific that you want to know or are curious about, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as always. I'll see you on my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.